I'm not signing anything this year. Alright. I'm through with signing. That's my new thing. I'm gonna be surly from now on. You got the face for it, man. I'm trying to cultivate a surly persona. All right, it's Thomas Bond. We're here on Tempe Music Festival TV, the sixth annual Tempe Music Festival. I'm here with Scott Johnson and Robin Wilson of the Gin Blossoms. Welcome Woo! back. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are old hands at the Tempe Music Festival. I think Thank they might need to put the Gin Blossoms name in the title somehow. That would be that would be good. It's, it would be about time. You know, honestly though, we're just glad to have been invited back and to be paid slightly more than last year. Nice. <laughs> That, that's right. That's Just a bad. little bit more. A that's little a, bit more. That, that's all you can hope. In a you know, career, they gave that's, me a little bit more, build. too, so we're all, we're all growing together with yeah, the we're festival. All good. <laughs> that's, that's excellent. Well, I know you guys are uh, obviously a Tempe band, local legends. I know we talk about this every year, but what's it like to see the hometown grow in this way? Well, let me, if you don't mind, since I live on Long Island now, it's really bizarre for me because when I come home like once a month, all of a sudden there's a new skyscraper, yet for some reason the construction on Apache is unchanged. <laughs> At a standstill, yeah. So, uh, it's weird just to watch it grow like this, but it, but it it's good. I think it's beautiful. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, there's and, a skyline uh, in Tempe now. Yeah, I think it's Hard I to believe. And this Tempe Music Festival has grown into a world-class event. Totally. And we've been doing these things for years all over the country, and but like whining about why wasn't there one in Tempe, and here it is. And now here it is. And now here it is. Now, Scott, you still make your home in the Valley, right? Yes. Excellent. How have you enjoyed seeing the city grow as it has? Well, it's interesting. It seems like it, it kind of comes and goes. You know, remember a few years ago, all the corporate things moved into Mill Avenue. Yep. And now uh, Restaurant Mexico is back. Thank goodness. Right on Mill. Yeah. What's Tempe without Restaurant Mexico? And so, you know, it's kind of, you know, had a small individual owners, independent owners are kind yeah. of back. And Making I like a little that. comeback. It's kind of a good mix now. Yeah, you know? it is. Got a little more personality coming back to it. That's great. Now, we're listening to the Meat Puppets on stage. Obviously, another uh, legendary Arizona band. I'm wondering Definitely. if you guys ever had the chance to play with them before. Yeah, we played with them at Big Surf back in, uh, it was before you were in the band, but it was like 1989 or 90. Wow. We played with them and the Red Hot Chili Peppers at uh, Big Surf. I think I, think that I was, remember that. It was a KQ show or something. Yeah. And then yeah. we did... I think Barry's uh, Danish was on that bill. We did Riverside. Remember that? It was R.E.M. Meat Puppets, Jim right. Blossom's R.E.M. In out Riverside, out California? California? That was nice. Very that nice. Was very very cool. nice. And, you know, I, personally, it's a, it's a huge thrill for me because the Meat Puppets have always been my heroes, you know, among my heroes. And yeah. It's 2008 to be sharing the stage with them at the Tempe Music Fest. That's what this thing should be. Right. You know, lots of great local artists and then somebody like Fergie, yeah. you know, a world-class artist sure. to anchor the whole thing. And the Tempe Music Festival is doing a great job with the, some up-and-coming local bands as well. There's been local bands on the uh, main stage, mm -hmm. up-and-coming emerging artist stage as well. They're really doing a good job of booking the local talent. Yep. And com certainly compared to the things like this that we do around the country, this is among yeah. the better ones this now. This is cool. Nice. It's, got, it's somewhere in the top 10 or 15 anyway. Right on. Yeah. Well, I know uh, the latest album, Major Lodge Victory, has been out about a year and a half now, so I think we're about, what, eight and a half years away from the next one? Is that right? <laughs> starting to seem that way, yeah. Stop. I'm just Stop giving you that. the business. Now, you're right. Because I've known you that long. You've got, every, you've got every right to say that. And, but the fact is we are working on new material. Great. It's really coming along very well. We have a really strong batch of material. And with some luck, we'll find the time to get it out this year. That is awesome. We I are. We're, we're working to hard towards that end. Excellent. Now, I know you've recently changed the name of your studio. It's not Mayberry anymore. Tell me it's, about the new name. It's called Uranus Recording of Tempe. I wanted something that reflected, you know, my personality. But specifically, I wanted it to, you know, for everyone to know what kind of studio it was and where it was. So right. Uranus Recording of Tempe. And uh, it's uh, going very well right now. I've got a couple bands booked out the studio all week. Now, a couple of the local bands that have come up and been interviewed on the couch have spoken very highly of it. Tell me that they're recording there and they like it a lot. So Excellent. That's well, great that you're keeping the, uh, the music business going in the hometown, even though you're making your home on Long Island. How, have you, how long have you been living out there? Well, I, I'm actually only, I commute between the two. I'm there about three weeks and then I'm here for a week or two. Okay. And then I'm there for three weeks. So two homes. Back. I literally have the, the two. In fact, let's see my... I thought this was new, two. yes says Valley Stream, New York, and Tempe, Arizona on the 
other side over there. Surrender, but don't give yourself away. <laughs> Cheap trick, man. There's that too. Very nice, very nice. But I, I'm, I'm probably the only guy on planet Earth with a tattoo that says both Tampa, Arizona and Valley Stream, New York. So, I, I, I definitely think that's a one on the planet, I would say. So right on for that. <laughs> Tell me about, uh, I know Jesse had a little appearance in the Heartbreak Kid. Tell me how that I, came about. Yeah, I did the Heartbreak Kid. And we got a song in Drill Bit Taylor right now. Nice. So, uh, yeah. Just making some inroads into Hollywood there. That's great. Yeah, we're, you know, we're hoping to get a, our first Oscar. Uh, you know. Why not? Do the red carpet. All it takes is a song and a movie, right? Yeah, there you go. I know you guys have a busy uh, summer tour schedule on your website. What kind of other plans do you have for 2008? It sounds like you're uh, working toward a new record. Do you have a title in mind, maybe? Um... Uh, yeah, we have some really good ideas, but there's no point in spitting them Nothing out now. Nothing to give away yet. All right. But uh, you know, we're rehearsing on Monday, working on the new material, and um, yeah, we're going to be busy all summer long. That sounds terrific. So. Now, Scotty, I know you had a solo record come out recently. Oh yes, that is Tell correct. Me a you bit are about correct, that. sir. Tell me about it. Ho ho ho. Well, it was recorded at Rom Studio. Of course. How about that? And. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it, it was fun. I, it was a great experience to do one by yourself. Um, Not and, have to uh, answer to the rest of us. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. And that's why I quit the band back in 97. <laughs> so. Rob uh, plays tambourine on three songs. Very it's nice. the least yeah, I could do. Cool. Yeah. It it's literally is guys. almost the least you could do. No, you could have played tambourine on one song. I that would have been the that. least you could do. What's, what's especially cool about the record is that Scott has been taking singing lessons for years, and he's worked really, really hard on his singing, and he, he sang great lead vocals on the whole record. Awesome. Yeah. That's terrific. Except for the song that I sang. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you've had uh, some other projects with the Long Shadows and the Poppin' Wheelies. What else do you have in the pipeline? I'm working with this group from St. Louis called One Lone Car, and I just okay. helped them put out their album. They recorded at my studio last May with local producer Jamie Wolford. Nice. And um, we're taking them on some Jim Blossom dates with us this summer, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, they'll become superstars, and uh, you know, and I'll get to be their tour manager. That, well, that's a good goal. It's a nice segue from performer right into manager. That's right. I'm, I am trying to uh, cultivate, you know, a, a relationships with young bands, bring them into the studio, and um, you know, help help them however I can. Mostly, I'm, I offer free advice. Very nice, very nice. Tell me about, uh, you know, we don't have Jesse or Bill or the Coos up here with us. What have those guys got going on? Well, Jesse's always busy working with his writing partners and his family out in California. Right. And um, Bill now lives in New Mexico. I did not know so that. So every time the Jim Blossoms have a show, Bill has to leave about 24 hours before the rest of us. So we wish him luck with that. And uh, today our drummer Coos played with Matt Moon right. on the main stage over there, along with our guitar tech and uh, local music hero Daryl Icard. Daryl Icard, of course. Very nice. Remember him well from working with Jesse. Excellent. Hey, that's great. You guys are keeping your uh, fingers in the local music pie there. That's wonderful. What kind Absolutely. of advice do you have for uh, the up-and-coming musicians that you've been working with as people that have been in the business as long as you have? I tell them to t learn how to communicate with your bandmates like early yeah. on, so yeah. you know, so you're not struggling to figure out how to talk to somebody on the road six months in. You know? Right. And when um, you're living out of each other's pockets. That's right. For for everyone to find their place in the band, and for all of them each to have responsibilities, and you know, try to create a rock and roll utopia. It'll never work, but hopefully, it'll but keep. But the it joy is in the trying, right? <laughs> There is that, but, um, you know, certainly there's a lot of joy in helping them make records, and that's something I, I want to keep doing is helping bands make records. It's my favorite part of being in the Jim Blossoms. Right. Well, I don't know if that's true. Performing is probably my favorite part. But second to that is, uh, is recording in the studio. Well, that's terrific. Now, thinking back, uh, you know, dating myself, seeing you guys back at the Sun Club in the late 80s and things like that, you guys have been able to make a career in music. 20 plus years now tell us about what kind of thrill that is i know we've talked about that before but you're living your dream yeah i i you know it's just uh we're just blessed you know i don't know how or why but we we still uh, don't have day jobs and i really love you have that a song about, called day job we have a song called day all job, right but that's as close as we're gonna come yeah 
as Never. close as you should come. Very happy. It truly is a privilege to still have the band back together. And, you know, I mean, we had to break up for five years yeah. before we realized the value and, uh, you know, and then struggled to get the band back together and once again learn how to communicate with each other and all of that. So we know we're very fortunate and we look back on all our contemporaries. And, um, and there's not a lot of them that are still together. No, hardly any. In fact, I've got a big list in my pocket of bands that we, of local bands, I'm planning to read off tonight. Right. And it's it's three pages long. And nice. you can probably, there's probably less than, you know, six of those bands are like still working. Right. You know? So we know we're lucky. And a lot of that has to do with uh, the excellent material that we have. Doug Hopkins songs. Sure. And the, you know, the songs that Jesse and I and Scott write. Hey, you guys well. are no slouches so, as writers yourself. Don't sell Bill, yourself short. You know, I mean, it's a tough thing to have a band. It, it, it's, it's always greater than the sum of its parts. Right. You know? Terrific. Well, if you would, do me the favor. Look right into uh, the camera here. Introduce yourselves as members of the Gin Blossoms and say you're watching Tempe Music Festival TV. Hi, I'm Scotty. And I'm Robin. We're the Gin Blossoms from Tempe, Arizona. You're watching Tempe Music Festival TV.